I help manage uh, the over 6,000 residential customers that we service and the, uh, we have several hundred uh, commercial customers that we also service for food waste and mixed recycling. Our goal is to help move the community towards zero waste, which obviously is somewhat daunting, but we've made a huge impact so far. Uh, we started this facility behind you in 2012, and that was the same year that the Salt Lake City partnered with us to launch the state's first gl curbside glass recycling program at that time. And so now seven years later, uh, we're up to over 5,000, um, five or 6,000 Salt Lake City residents participate in the program. And we've diverted millions of pounds of glass from the landfill. So right now, this facility, we're processing uh, anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 tons per month, which is about half of the capacity that this facility has. Uh, in terms of all of the glass in Utah's waste stream, uh, we think we're anywhere between 12 to 15 percent capture rate, which means that at least 80 percent of the glass, that's, the glass waste that's being generated uh, in the state of Utah is not making it to our facility here. And our, this facility is the only one in the whole Rocky Mountain region. Uh, so all of the glass that's recycled anywhere in Utah or even some surrounding states makes its way here. So we have a huge gap where we can still make up and capture a lot more glass. And the most important thing to us is just letting people know that we exist and educating them on how to recycle glass and, and, and where they can do so. Glass recycling is, of all the materials, say you took all of your recyclables, your glass, cardboard, plastic, paper, and you spread them out on the table. And I, I told you to grab the materials that were the best for Utah. Glass is the best material for Utah because it's collected locally, it's processed here locally, and then it's used by local industry. Any of your other commodities, your paper, cardboard, plastic, those are going to be bailed up and most likely shipped out of state. And they actually might not benefit Utah as much as glass recycling does. We, we just launched a mobile app this year. We have almost a thousand people that have downloaded it. Uh, and what it does is it will tell you when your next pickup day is. Um, it will also tell you, so hey, my, my pickup is on the 4th of July. I, I wonder if Momentum Recycling is coming today. Well, you can see right there, you know, yeah, we are coming today. Um, you can also use uh, our waste wizard. So there's a little button on there. You can search for uh, whatever material you're wondering can go into which stream. So maybe you have um, a, a ceramic coffee mug and you're wondering, oh, can, is this, I think this is glass, but maybe you're arguing with your, with your spouse or your roommate about it. Well, you can look it up on the app and realize, actually, no, that, that can't be recycled. It's actually not made of glass. But you can use our waste wizard to help you know what goes in the bin. Right now at this point, our total number of drop-off locations is somewhere around 16 to 20. Uh, they're located all throughout the city. There's actually a map on Momentum Recycling's website. You can actually put in your address and find the one that's nearest you. Uh, you can also go on Salt Lake City Green's website and find one. Um, they're at a lot of popular parks, Popperton Park up in the avenues, Liberty Park um, downtown. There's one up by the zoo. Uh, and then we have some smaller glass pods actually that are a little bit larger bins like this that we've placed in kind of smaller, harder to reach locations. So for more information, you can go to MomentumRecycling.com and just click on Utah. And then you can find your nearest drop-off location or you can sign up for the service.